Good morning children. We already know what is the arithmetic mean. So, today we shall learn about median which is another measure of the central tendency of data. In the story, we saw a person to continue to save money for many years to buy his dream house. Finally, when he had 45 lakhs, he went to the real estate agent in search of his dream house. The agent showed him many houses. All the houses had different prices, starting from 30 lakh to the very expensive house of 95 lakhs. There were many houses to choose from. How to make a choice then? First, he tried to make a decision based on the average price. The agent said that the average price was around 58 lakhs. How? The agent added up the prices of all the seven houses. So, 30 lakhs plus 32 plus 38 plus 40 plus 87 plus 90 plus 95 amounting to 412 lakhs. Then, he divided it by 7 which is the number of values or the quantities that is the number of houses in the list thus he got the average that is the arithmetic mean here which is 412 divided by 7 which is approximately 58 lakhs so the average price was calculated as 58.85 lakhs thus the person tried to make a decision based on the mean price of the seven houses. But from the arithmetic mean, the buyer thought he won't be able to buy his dream house unless he saved more than 58 lakhs. But actually, that was not true. So, here the average of the mean price doesn't help the buyer to get clear idea of the price of the houses. There were many houses much cheaper than the 58 lakhs. Many houses much more expensive than 58 lakhs. The average 58 doesn't represent the data properly to the buyer. So, what was the solution? How did he make the decision? First, he arranged the houses in ascending order of price. Look here. 30 lakhs, 32 lakhs, 38 lakhs, 40 lakhs, 87 lakhs, 90 lakhs and 95 lakhs. So the lowest price was 30 lakhs and the highest price was 95. There were 7 choices. Look at the list carefully. If we see the house costing 40 lakhs is exactly in the middle. So, it divides the list in two parts. So, we can say in the list there is a house costing 40 lakhs and houses costing less than 40 lakhs and houses costlier than 40 lakhs. As 40 is the exactly middle number of the ordered list, we can call it as median value. So the median value divides the list in two equal parts. As the list was arranged in the ascending order, the left side values were less than 40 and the right side values were more than 40. As he had saved rupees 45 lakhs, he could buy any of the houses costing 40 lakhs or less than that because they were well within his planned budget. Now, how to choose the median value? 7 values and here the median is the 4th value. We chose median using a simple formula. When the number of values is odd, and if n represents the number of values, then term n plus 1 divided by 2 is the median value. 
so here 7 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 8 by 2 which is equal to 4 so the fourth value is the median value and the fourth value is 40 so 40 lakh house was the median here and finally he chose the 40 lakh house which was the median of the ordered list so now you know what is the median value it is simply the middle value of the ordered list of values like the house worth 40 lakhs here you may wonder what if the number of values is even let us understand this with an example as we know the median is used to divide the list in two equal parts like you are told to divide the students into two groups based on their math score here 14 students are there and the marks obtained by them are 7 8 10 11 11 12 13 15 15 16 17 18 18 and 19 here we have arranged the students in the ascending order of math score look at the scores which is the median value here the number of values is even that is 14 which is the middle term now is it the 7th term or the 8th term still we can't decide which is the median the 7th one which is the last value of the first part and it is 13 or the 8th term which is the first value of the second part and it is equal to 15 how do we decide we need to take a middle way so we add these two middle values and divide them by 2 so the two middle values are 13 and 15 let's divide them by 2 so we get 28 divided by 2 which is equal to 14 now we can easily say there are students who scored less than 14 and the students who scored more than 14 so 14 is the mark that divides the list into two parts in one part all the values are less than 14 and in the other part all the values are greater than 14 so here 14 is the median value so how did we find that the median is 14 let's understand the formula say n is the number of values which is an even number then we add the term number n by 2 and the next term which is n by 2 plus 1 and then we divide the sum by 2 to reach a median value see we add the values of the term number n by 2 which is 14 by 2 and is equal to the seventh term and the seventh term has the value equal to 13 and n by 2 plus 1 would be the next term which is equal to 14 by 2 that is 7 plus 1 that is the eighth term and its value is equal to 15 so 13 plus 15 and divide the sum by 2 to reach the median value 13 plus 15 is equal to 28 divide by 2 we get 14 so 14 is the median value here now you may wonder does the median always represent the central tendency of data correctly let us take some examples and figure this out for example a class teacher gathered the data of heights of the students in a class the heights are 112 centimeter 112 then 124 
then 126, then 130 followed by 135, 135, 135 and 165 centimeter. Here what would be the median? Here the middle value is 130 centimeter. But the middle value doesn't represent the height of the students properly as many students are much taller than it and few students are much shorter. So it is not necessary that the middle value would represent the data properly. Another example, an elevator can carry up to 600 kgs. Seven people were using it. If we find the median of their weight, we cannot tell whether their total weight would exceed 600 kg or not. Finding median doesn't serve any purpose here. In this case, the arithmetic mean would represent this data in a better way. If someone says their mean weight is 81 kgs, then we can get the good idea of the data. And we represent the data by mean. Say the mean of the weight of the 7 people is 81, then the total weight would be 81 multiplied by the number of values which is 7 here. So 7 multiplied by 81 is equal to 567 kgs which is much less than the weight limit of 600 kgs and we can easily tell the total weight hasn't exceeded. So remember children what is median? When the data values are arranged in either ascending or descending order, the central value is the median. And how do we calculate it? If the number of data values is odd, median is exactly the middle value. The formula to find which value would be median is n plus 1 divided by 2, where n refers to the number of data values. So it is term n plus 1 divided by 2, the median. For example, if the number of data values is 9, then the median would be 9 plus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 10 by 2, and thus the fifth value in the data is the median. And if the number of data values is even, we take the mean of the two middle values as the median, which is term number n by 2 and its next value, which is n by 2 plus 1. This whole thing divided by 2. Here, n is the number of data values. Say, there are 10 values, so n is equal to 10. The two middle values are the value number 10 by 2 which is the fifth data value and its next value which is the sixth data value. We find its mean that is add them and divide by 2 to find the median value. So thus median here would be the fifth term value plus the sixth term value divided by 2. Thus Median is used to show the central tendency of data when the data values have extreme values. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.